everybody, Greg with Listed Up. We're here at uh, 2023 West Windsor Ave uh, in Phoenix, uh, in Canto Estates. I want to take you on a uh, very cool house tour. Um, we'll walk you through. It's a pretty good sized house. Uh, I'll try to be as detailed as I can, kind of walk you through. Uh, this one has uh, a lot of cool potential. Just a beautiful curb appeal. I want to spend some more time with the curb appeal. And then we'll walk in. Awesome neighborhood here. Uh, we're at 19th Ave, just south of Thomas. Uh, but this little Encanto area is uh, really, really nice. So we'll come in the front entryway here. Uh, the kitchen would be off to your right. You got a living space over here going into more living space and your bedrooms all off here. This is a three bed, two and a half bath uh, plan, 3,100 square foot, 3,100 plus. Um, currently, this sits as the master. You've got uh, smaller, smaller bath in here as it sits currently. Uh, Walk-in shower behind the door here. Uh, it looks like they did an addition to extend the master closet. So this is a huge master closet in here uh, with the little side door out to the uh, going out front. Um, there are a few little things you might need to do to reconfigure this area here to, to give this a better size master bathroom um, potentially. So that could work or you could potentially just add the master to the other side. You got a couple other small bedrooms here, uh, door out to the back, closet here, so bedroom two, bedroom three over here, smaller size bedroom, smaller size closet, but we'll do the trick. A lot of cabinetry, you know, these, these cabinets can all probably all get blown out and use, take advantage of this space. All this is, uh, I know it's dark in there right now, so not sure how much you can see. But this is all space that is unused and uh, was just used for storage. It can all be taken out if need to be. It's your chime for your front doorbell. Another closet that could probably go away if not needed. Uh, nice little uh, living room space in here. This is comes the back side of the kitchen. So you got the kitchen and back going out to the backyard. And then you got another dining room area, a large dining room. This could all be opened up as well. Let's take you, again, it's coming through the, kind of the small little kitchen nook area coming in there, going out back. And then you got a huge, uh, really cool room with a massive fireplace uh, back here. Uh, this could be an entertaining room or it could potentially be turned into a master. Uh, it'd be a pretty big fireplace for a master, but people like that sometimes. Um, but really cool setup back here. Obviously a door going to the back. <clears throat> You've got a really cute backyard. Nice little covered patio with vaults. Uh, this is a the owner who has lived in this house the entire time. He's spent a lot of time and effort, really done some cool stuff. Custom gates, little storage areas back here. <clears throat> really cool tree, little fountain. Another fountain there. You can see a little, added a little drinking fountain. Um, and then he's got a little workshop back here, which could potentially be turned into a, uh, a little guest house potentially or garage all this stuff will be going away but he's got a lot of tools and stuff back here so um again could be a cool garage that goes back to the alley back there so could turn it into a garage although that front uh carport is pretty pretty good setup for putting in a garage back there little more space here. The roof was done uh, within the last five years. That looks to be a pretty new AC unit along with this one. That one's a little older over there. Um, the house is in, in really good condition. 
they've taken very good care of it. A lot of crazy electrical stuff. Um, that's something to consider. I'll take you back. <clears throat> Again, a lot of stuff to look at over here. There's a little powder room back here, more uh, closet space. And then if we go out to the carport, the laundry room is kind of tucked away in a little separate storage area where the laundry room's back here. So this might be uh, another reconfiguration that uh, can be done to have the laundry room inside. And then we'll go back through just to take a look at the kitchen again. You know, again, the little nook here, if you don't remember that before. Uh, and your galley kitchen, the way it's set up. FYI, I didn't say there, there's pre-wire for speakers in all the bedrooms. Um, they've got it running throughout the house currently, if you heard any music in the background. But uh, anyway, um, that is it. Uh, give me a holler if you have any questions, 602-428-9049. Thanks.